Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. We're going to be checking out a couple places. Uh, this particular place I've never been before. I got, I got out here a little while ago. I haven't seen much insect activity yet, but it's like only, well, it's still early, but I've been spending most of the mor uh, morning doing some birding. And uh, well, I'm going to be continuing doing some birding until I actually see insects I can show you guys. You can probably hear a lot of the birds. <clears throat> Overall, it's been a good day birding. And I actually just saw a butterfly, so hopefully I can uh, catch up to it and get you some insects. To be honest, this is actually the first real insect activity I've seen. I mean, some a couple of small flies and stuff, but... Nothing can get the heart racing like some ants. Now, I'm not sure why they're in such a hurry. But, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, collect a few of these specimens. And we got a butterfly here. Like a sulfur. Looks like a clouded sulfur there. Kind of just came out of nowhere. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Really nice, beautiful yellow. So, now that it's warmed up a little, I think uh start seeing more and more uh, insects up. So, really excited to see what I can uh, see here. Good start there, though. Alright. So if you're ever in like uh, sandy areas and you see these little pits like these, those are uh, actually antlion larvae. They uh, make these pits and they uh, stay at the bottom and insects grow and then they trap them and yeah. These are the first antlion pits of the season. Probably still pretty small larva. So I'm not going to bother digging one up. It's easier to show you when they're bigger. Just thought I'd figure that was cool. Figure I'd point that out to you guys in case uh, you see these little pits in sandy areas. All right. So we got a little blue here. From the lips of it, it looks like a silvery blue. That's really sweet. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. So I'm out in Colorado a bit. I haven't seen much here back in Wisconsin, Minnesota. So that's kind of awesome to see. 
I think, what is it? I think it's the, yeah, it's the 15th, May 15th today. And there's a silvery blue there. I guess I didn't realize they came out that early here. But apparently they did. And I did see a grasshopper. It flew up into a tree. So, unfortunate on that. So, I don't know if it'll come down or not, but. That was the first grasshopper I actually saw this season, so I kind of want it. Hopefully they'll come back down. Still got some water to check out for some aquatic beetles. There's some dragonflies flying out. More and more stuff is popping up, so should be able to get you some more stuff. All right, so found another grasshopper. And I managed to catch this one. I haven't looked to see what exactly it was. Here we go. Do you believe it's Arphia conspersa? But I'll confirm that later. It has really nice yellow hind wings. So really happy with the fine. If it is a conspersa, that's it's actually my very first conspersa specimen here in Minnesota or Wisconsin. All the ones I have are from Colorado. So, let me sweep. Hopefully I can find a couple more. Alright, so really cool there. We have a uh, Olympia marble. The sun's really brightening it up right there, so. There you go. I can say I wasn't really expecting to see one of those, but I'm really happy I did. And uh, I'm actually gonna try and uh, go ahead and collect that one for a friend in uh, France who's looking for butterflies and moths. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and find that and uh, get that for him. Sweet. All right, so got a few more grasshoppers. So now for a little bit, I'm gonna start sampling some of the wetlands around here. See what beetles I can pull out. And uh, I think I'm also gonna be setting up a uh, couple uh, bait cards with some peanut butter for some uh, uh, ants. So, let's go ahead and see what I can uh, see here. All right, so I have uh, three note cards here with uh, peanut butter. And while I'm sampling the pond for a little bit, I'm gonna let these sit out. And I'm gonna check in a little while and see what ants, if any ants, uh, show up. Let's we'll set that one here. Base of this tree. I'll set one up here. And I'm actually going to set one up here. Closer to the open area up here. Let's set that sit there. 
So I'm gonna let those sit for a little bit while I sample this little pond here and we'll chuck back in a little while. All right, so <clears throat> I did some sampling there. Got some good beetles. Missed a really good beetle. But figure it's time to check out the peanut butter plates. See if anything's... Oh, there is something there. There is a little ant. Sorry with about the little movements there. I have no clue if the ant is still there. Alright, well, that was kind of a minute there of like nothing shakiness. There were, okay, oh, there. And I lost it again. You can see there are ants around. None of them were just on the car when I got here. But I guess I'll just move on to the next uh, next card. All right, so I checked all the cards. <clears throat> Nothing. So it's kind of a bummer on that. But now, finally, after searching all day, I was wondering when I'd finally see one. But we finally have the very first tiger beetle of the season. And the first one of today. Closer there, I have to find it again. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, it found me. It's giving me a stare down. Seeing as how sandy this place is, I'm surprised I haven't didn't see any before this one. But hopefully this is the start now. I can find a couple more and get some photos and stuff. Where'd it go? Oh. Sorry, I get distracted by something else and I lose sight of it. Really glad I finally seen one, so let's try and get a picture of it now. Alright, so I'm just right down the road from where I was. And we got another tiger beetle. Actually been a few of these ones. Well, nice to see some more more of them around. I'm gonna try and net one or two. And uh, 
plenty of water here. I'm going to do some uh, sampling for some aquatic beetles. And see what else we can see. So, yeah, some. Pretty sweet. Alright, we got a pretty large ant nest here. And a bunch of uh, uh, Formica species. Let's zoom out here. That whole thing here is the nest. It's like uh, multiple entrances. One down on the bottom there and one up on the top over there. And looks like one on the side as well. But I guess I'll uh, go ahead and collect a few of the of these uh, ants here and I'll get keep on moving. Well, I think I'm gonna end up the, the video here. Back to the car. I don't know if you can see, but on those. Oh. Just, just jumped off those blades of grass, it was a pygmy grasshopper. Uh, and that landed somewhere in here. Kind of blends in. But uh, I'll try and find that and collect that. But it uh, ended up being a really nice day. First tiger beetles, first grasshoppers, some butterflies. The wind's picking up now. So collected some good stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully uh, t uh, tomorrow or the which will end up being the next video uh, be able to show you some more uh, some more insects. So uh, see you guys next time.